Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. I'm always looking for requests for new videos. I've had a lot of requests lately for Team Snipers, so I have a Team Snipers game for you on the map Ragnarok. Uh, for those of you who, who have the game and play it regularly, you know that this map is a team favorite. It always gets voted in, a fan favorite rather, it always gets voted in. And so I'm going to show you a gameplay here. Uh, nice little clip. I go uh, 16 kills without dying. That's a running riot. It's very, very difficult to do in Team Snipers when you're just one shot away from death the entire time. Uh, not easy to do, but I use some great techniques that I'm going to talk to you about that will help you win more often. But I do want to talk about the playlist just generally because it is a brand new pro playlist here. And Snipers is actually very, very similar to SWAT, as a matter of fact. Um, in both playlists, everybody has the exact same weapon, so it's a very even playing field for both teams. And both, uh, you know, everybody in the game is one shot away from death. Everybody's got a one-shot kill weapon. And so, for that reason, this is really a good playlist for players who are kind of intermediate to advanced skill level. A, a lot of novice players... Uh, mistakenly think that it's a really easy uh, playlist because you have this powerful weapon that can kill somebody with one shot. And while that's true, um, you know, in other playlists, there are a lot of different ways you can gain advantages over players who have more skill than you do. So if you've got powerful weapons, you've got, you're using your loadouts cr properly, you've got vehicles, you're maintaining the power positions, you're working together as a team. You can beat players who are much, much better than you, okay? You can use all those things to your advantage. You can beat people who have a, a stronger skill set than you do because there's some imbalances there. But uh, the SWAT playlist, as well as Team Snipers, is very, very balanced. It's difficult to gain an advantage over your opponents. And so that for that reason, I believe it's a good uh, playlist for intermediate to advanced players. Now, I, I would love to hear what you guys think about that. Do you feel like it's a good playlist for intermediate to advanced players? Or do you feel like it's a good playlist for beginners? And, um, you know, which playlists do you feel like are better for intermediate to advanced skills? And which playlists are better for uh, beginner players? Um, for me, I think that the beginner players do well in Flood, right? I think that that requires about the least skill of most of the playlists. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below. But anyway, here I'm about halfway to my running riot. Uh, so let me give you some tips and tricks. Let, 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 let you know what I was doing here and give you some ideas for your own gameplay. Um, you know, so I've already mentioned that there's no no weapon variety, no loadouts, no vehicles, so it's a very level playing field, very balanced game, but there are a few things you can do to gain an advantage. And number one is maintain the power positions on each map. You can still do that. There are still specific locations on every single map that give you an advantage, right? That give you some really good lines of sight, some good ability to fall back for cover, um, some great positions where you can hold them down and really have a strong control over the map. So you need to work together as a team to maintain as many of those power positions as you can in Team Snipers. You can see I'm holding this one down very, very well. I'm getting very limited support from my teammates. Even though I'm really owning right now, uh, our, our team is behind and we, we just can't seem to uh, pick up a lead because my, my teammates aren't, aren't playing very smart. But maintain the power positions on the map. That's going to make a huge difference, okay? So even if you your skill set is slightly less so than that of your opponents, you can still do well by maintaining the power positions. The other thing you can do is really anticipate the movement of your opponents. Fortunately for me, the red team was behaving very predictably during this game. They kept showing up in the same places, right up on top of the ridge, right down in the riverbed, and then right over in between the center hill and the down pelican, okay? They kept coming through those same areas all game long, and I was able to anticipate their movements and get some really clean, quick shots before they even knew where I was or what hit them, okay? So that anticipation was very beneficial for me. Typically, you want to move very unpredictably in Team Snipers. That means jumping around, moving side to side, never, ever, ever standing still unless you're behind complete cover like I know this is a very safe location behind this rock here but if you're out in the open or you're moving around you need to be continually juking and jumping and moving around making yourself a very difficult target because you never know when you're in the sights of some guy that's hiding on the other side of the map he's got you in his scopes and he's looking for an easy headshot so you need to be moving around very 
all the time. You need to be in constant motion in this game. Uh, the other thing you can do is continue to change your location so that your opponents don't know where that fire is coming from, so they can't uh, come in and get a lock on you. Now, I don't do that during this game because I was just having so much success from this one area. I was just loath to move somewhere else because it was doing so well, and I felt like if I moved, uh, I might break my spree. So I don't really demonstrate that much here, but typically in a sniper's game, you want to move around from one power position to another to try to control those power positions and, and remain unpredictable so your opponents don't know you know where the fire is coming from the other thing i want to recommend in team snipers is that you actually want to spread out now in other game types i recommend you travel in packs and pairs as a team so you can team shoot the opponents that's not necessary in team snipers it's a one-shot kill you don't need to team shoot you don't need to be all moving together at the same time you actually want to fan out a little bit so that you're basically putting in a lines of fire from all different angles on your opponents okay it's very difficult for your opponents to defend themselves if they're taking fire from every different corner of the map. So you actually want to spread out a little bit. If you can, work together as a team to communicate where everybody is and where you're going, where your opponents are. You want to talk talk through all that, but you don't want to be all clustered in one area because basically they're going to figure out where you are and they're just going to start taking headshots. Look at this peak shooting, guys. Very, very effective. You want to peak shoot. You want to slide back and forth between cover. You can line up shots while you're behind cover. That way, your opponents won't have a chance to line up their shots. And then, look, here I am, running riot. You line up the shots, you come out from a cover, quickly take the shot, fall back to cover. Well, hope you guys have learned a few things here. I know it was a shorter video, but please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Add this video to your favorites. I have several other sniping tips on my channel, so go back and check out those videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.